Hey guys, it's me, Hill Walker, and I am finally home. Like, I think they kept me hostage on purpose. Like, there was no reason why I had to stay that long, but I did. But I did have um, what they call uh, CSF, which is like um, a little spinal cord fluid like you know there's like a fluid around your spinal cord and around your brain and I guess when they did my surgery and I don't know it just happened where it like kind of it's like a sack or a bag or whatever they however they said but and it got punctured so it was leaking a little fluid and what happened was I was like dizzy you know like really dizzy like you know like if you stand up and you spin yourself around in a circle around and around and around and around that's what I was feeling and it was like it was happening all day so I was like okay I know it's not any of the medicine because you know I had pretty much stopped taking a lot of the pain meds and stuff and you know it just was a really bad feeling then I would get like headache and just you know all these different pains and what really made me notice was that it was like a numbing all down like the back of my leg so I'm like uh oh you know I'm thinking something happened with the plates in my neck or something but you know and when I got there and they ran a bunch of tests and about 12 hours later they discovered that it was some fluid leaking so they went in um, they did a like a epidural and they went in through my back and my spine and they had to keep draining some of the fluid off like every first it was like every two hours then it went to every three then six then eight so they basically when it was all said and done I was getting it done like once a day so now everything's everything's good everything's cool that's fixed the problem's fixed it's not gonna happen again ever um the bad news is is me and Mr. Brace here we're gonna be friends for about another month or so before I can actually move so um doctor's orders is I pretty much have to sit still no driving not a lot of you know strenuous what they call strenuous exercise and just you know get a lot of rest which I'm like I'm over rested as it is you know I'm like I'm tired of resting I've been in the bed for like seven days like enough already um but so goes life so I'd rather uh, you know rest up and, and get better than to have anything go wrong so just a little note you know I am okay guys thank you for I want oh thank you guys I, I my phone died and then it was like my phone died uh, well all last week like Tuesday it really died and then um, my internet got cut off Wednesday so like Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday all weekend I didn't have any internet any phone service because the phone was acting really stupid you know in the hospital I couldn't get a signal in or out and then come to find out <laughs> it got cut off like whoa so the cable and the phone had just got like shut down pretty much on the same day so when I got out this morning, I had um, my next door neighbor run me to the cable um, company to pay that bill and pay my phone bill. So everything's back on and it's just been like crazy. You know, it's, it's hard when you have to sit still and can't move and depend on everybody else to do everything for you. It kind of, it just sucks, you know. But I wanted to just say thank you guys for all your for all my prayer warriors out there. Thank you. Um, it when I finally when my phone came back on a couple of hours ago, 
I looked through some of the messages and I was able, you know, to see some of the things that were going on. And apparently I missed a lot. So I'm going to try to, you know, I guess all I can do is sit and catch up on some videos and, you know, just answer some of you guys', you know, um, some of you guys' comments. But thank you guys so much for your prayers. I, I, I really needed them because, you know, being stuck like this, I need all the help I can get. And you guys are just like the best. I mean, I couldn't ask for better friends. I mean, I really couldn't. I mean, it. I tried to explain to one of the nurses up there the dynamics of the community, but she really didn't get it. And I'm like, it, you know, to have friends, you know, I've made so many friends and I, I just I love you guys I love you guys from the bottom of my heart because I'm 42 y'all tell my age I'm 42 and I've never had friends like this like you know people that just reach out to you and just pray for you who don't really even know you you know but just will take the time out of their day just to pray for you you guys that's just that's amazing to me and I don't know if I'll ever be able to, you know, show you guys what it means to me to have you guys with me going through this. I mean, it just, it, it means a lot to me, guys. It, it really does to the point where sometimes it, it can be overwhelming, not overwhelming bad, but just overwhelming to know that it's people that care about you. Mm. people that care about you and wish you well and you know it just shows you nothing but love so I love you guys I do and I just want you guys to know I love you and thank you for your prayers and your thoughts and your kind words to me I don't know guys so I'm gonna stop right there before I have a total meltdown because I'm still a little loopy from some of the anesthetic they was giving me but again I just wanted to pop in and say I'm home and I'm okay for now I'm really okay I am I mean I'm, my spirits are still I'm still in good spirits so yeah okay guys I missed you guys so much I did I missed everybody um just hi hi Miss Shirley hi Kimberly Kathy um hi Nicole everybody just hi I love you <laughs> okay talk to you later guys stay blessed bye